Here's North America, and there was the situation at the end of the last ice age. Of course, this is not truly accurate because this is showing the current coastlines of North America, which would not have been the case when you had all this ice piled up. Coastlines would have been far seaward. These all represent great flows of water. So I've investigated the Valles Calderas overflow, the Silver Lake, Soda Lake, Manly flows, the Bonneville, the Missoula, the Athabasca, the Livingstone Lake. We have explored the regions affected by the two greatest acknowledged floods in the history of North America, the Great Missoula and the Great Bonneville. Now the key word here is acknowledged. Now this was written probably 10 years ago. Now I think we have enough proof that we can say yes, there have actually been floods with flows greater than the Bonneville. For peak dis discharge and raw stream power, these events are not likely to be surpassed. However, the effects of megascale catastrophic floods are by no means limited to the region directly affected by these two floods. It will be the purpose of this episode of the saga to elucidate the myriad effects of colossal floods on a variety of landscapes around the remainder of the North American continent and to demonstrate the probability that the Missoula and Bonneville floods were actually a limited regional manifestation of a much larger event.